Momentum. Even though she's doing up we go and a, a dumbbell swing. Up, dive through and up. So what we're doing right now is we're hinging at the waist. Look through your legs, reach through like you're gonna slam the weight into the wall behind you. Legs stay slightly bent at the bottom and then lock oh just like God. a regular swing. Oh God. Grüß mich dran, Gregory von Lebestake. Jillian Michaels is a hustler. She's been doing this fitness thing for a longer time now. And she's very good looking for her age. And I don't want to talk bad about her, but some of her behavior raises some red flags. The medical community and the science-based community had some issues with her when she said that eating too much protein was dangerous on an Instagram story or Instagram live. And then she had some issues with some sort of weight loss drug that uh, the medical community said, come on, that's you're just overdoing it and you're talking about stuff that you don't have no clue about. Let's check out what she does with the kettlebell. And before we get into it, I want to make the short, please, no matter how popular somebody is, always do some research on their background. If they don't have no education, no institution, no school, nor anything to show, something to back their claims up where they learned it from, then you always have to tread very carefully. Let's check Stand out what she does. Up for me. Now we have swing throughs. All right. We're gonna start with four regular swings and then we're gonna dive through. Here we go. Dive through. And right. one. The swing two, techniques not higher, even as bad. Building the momentum. Even though she's doing up we go and a, dive. a dumbbell swing. Up. Dive through and up. So what we're doing right now is we're hinging at the waist. Look through your legs. Reach through like you're gonna slam the weight into the wall behind you. Legs stay slightly bent at the bottom and then lock oh just like God. a regular swing. Oh God. Guys, if if your lower back has any value for you, and if you value your lumbar spine. Oh my God. The f it was like dive through. What do you want to do? Go ahead, ladies. Pop those discs out of your spine. Using the breath. This is a really advanced move. If you're not ready for it. I love it when they say it's an advanced move that'll send you to the physiotherapist or the chiropractor or the hospital in no time and she's using a dumbbell guys i'm a, i'm i have this video on my list why swinging with a dumbbell is not a good idea because gravity works completely different with a dumbbell because of the weight distribution you start with kettlebell swings and then gradually work into it there's no variation here you can go lighter with look how she bends her listen even with lighter weights. Guys, you don't do this, man. You don't do this. Weights, but I want a full range of motion. Bending at the hips, locking at the top. Reach through, look behind you. Guys, hit me with two more. You and I think she said, hinging at the waist. You hinge with your hips. Bruh. Look at this. It's bad quality, but you can see it. Not only the video is bad quality, but this exercise as well. Guys, this is... Beautiful. Last one. Reach. And down. Perfect. Now, plyo swings. You guys ready? We're starting with... Plyo swings. What? More regular. Going into a walk and then into a jump. Here we go. And one. Oh, man. Put the bell on the floor, guys. Always remember the triangle. You stand in front of the kettlebell, and when you look at the kettlebell, your feet and the kettlebell forms a triangle half a meter away from you, so you don't waste your first rep and have to swing it up there. Well, they're using light weights. Thank God they're using lightweight, light weights. If you use heavier weights, this is gonna crash your spine. Two, get the momentum. Three, and we're walking. Up, up, back, back. Forward, forward, backwards, right there. Perfect, yeah, yeah. nice and smooth. You know what we call this? This is variety for fun, guys. And Dan John said, variety is for fun. And how do we spell fun? W-I-N. 
winning. You can have fun with stuff like this, but if you're not winning at the end as an athlete, you will get fired. And if you're, if you're injured, uh, let, let's put it like this. How do we spell fun, guys? I-N-J-U-R-Y. Is it a hyphen? The thing in the middle? F-R-E-E. Injury free. Focusing on the breath. The form no, Did you see how she stopped it? <laughs> Bam! If it's a heavy and see losing focus when you show stuff. And I know this happens. This this happens to coaches. It happens to me as well sometimes. You gotta catch your focus. Stop the weight. Rack it, put it down, or use the use momentum to drop it from a swing. Hit me with plyo jumps. As the weight's coming up, let it throw you backwards, let it pull you forward. Now, listen, guys, and we always get this criticism. It's like people say, there is no unnecessary exercise. And there is no exercise. You can do everything with kettlebells. Yes, you can do. You can balance a kettlebell on your head and curl a dumbbell with your right hand while keeping a, a barbell inside of your left hand and deadlift with it. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff with, stuff with any equipment. But... I want you to think about this. Many people have trouble to get into a habit of working out. And when they do work out, it's like a, a mini win, right? Yeah, I, I, I got my first workout. And then maybe the first week, the first month, and so on and so forth. So if people have a hard time to get into the workout mode, then when they actually do make time and get into a workout, I want folks to make the best use of their time and not waste their time because it takes so much effort for many people, understandably, to get into a workout or training mentality and start building this habit. And why not build a habit that has good foundations, that doesn't waste your time? So this is where I'm coming from. I don't understand why did the, the girl on the left, the woman on the left, why did, didn't she get a kettlebell? It was like, oh, we only have two kettlebells where we're going to film a whole workout. But hey, you got to you gotta make, make do with the dumbbell. It's your fault. You've been too late. I don't know why. Use your obliques. Point through the chest. Keep the spine straight. Keep this arm locked. If you bend that arm, you're going to fold. Do not let that arm come out in front of you or you will slide. You're halfway you there, fold. guys. Slide. That's what's Focus up, children. So why are you diving through with this stupid kettlebell swing? If you... Make sure that your spine is straight where you do an exercise that's not ballistic. It's, it's just a grind. Then why not be extra? Why not use extra caution, extra safety when you do ballistics? It's, it's crazy. Use your breathing to control your core. It will support your back. Oh, B. <laughs> Buddy. No, I wasn't sore today, Jill. No, I wasn't sore. I love it. I love it. I love it. You love it now? I do love Good. it. Good. You can love it. It's like, <laughs> you know, actually, I, we never talk to our clients like this, man. You were sore, so the clients on the floor, ooh, sweating like you weren't sore. Let's have a get you so, baby. <laughs> and that's that burn mentality that Pavel is against. And, you know, I'm kind of in the middle. I do understand that people want an experience and they want to feel their body and want to get to reach a certain level. Yet, if you build too much lactate, uh, too much waste in your system, then your form is going to break. So you have to take care. And I like the mentality where it's more about practice instead of working out when you when it comes to kettlebells. I like that more martial arts aspect. So I'm kind of in between going to a certain level. Yes, but don't overdo it, especially with beginners. But you know, this is like that burn mentality. You want you want to feel sore? Then go ahead. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna get you sore. That's not the idea, you know. Maybe maybe you have a workout and you don't feel sore the next day. That's totally fine. You don't have to think that delayed onset muscle soreness or feeling sore the next day is a indicator of a good workout. Start with four regulars and then oh we're going to dive down. Dive Here down. we go. What and is this? The dive down one. swing? Nice and easy. Two. The spine breaker swing. Guys, if you got any suggestions for this kind of swing, any great names, put it in the comments, guys, please. The disc breaker swing. Focus on the breath. And up, dive it. Here we go. Through. Up. Reach and up. Reach and lock those hips. Reach it, lock. lock. Do you All see that? Do you see? <laughs> 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 
This is not to make fun of Jillian, guys. It <laughs> Goes to show. No matter how popular you are, popularity doesn't equal wisdom, knowledge, or competency or competence. So let's keep going. The quality is a little better right here. So what she does here is an exercise that's more for the core. Yes, I do understand this kind of exercise where you have to stabilize your whole body in the air. Extending your leg will make it a little bit harder for your body to control it. Most people probably feel this in the arms. They won't even won't even be able to push themselves up. So I saw a great addition, which would be a very good idea, actually is dips with two heavy kettlebells, where you have those kettlebells right there in front, and then you go down, dipping, coming back up. I like this idea. If you're into these core exercises, I always believe, if you just do the swing, the clean, the snatch, that's, these are the greatest core exercises. And you work the basics, the most important exercises, the fundamentals for kettlebell training when it comes to the ballistics. Now with these side swings, and she actually, take a look at the, the shoes that she's wearing. These thick soles are useless if you do heavy lifting, in my opinion. Go barefoot, take your shoes off, or maybe go mat cons or converse. You need some flat surface that your feet can really, that the proprioception is important. Proprioception is the aspect where your whole body understands the surface that it stands on because the, the signal's coming back. And if you want to transfer energy or you want to build muscle strength, then you need a stable surface. And while these shoes may be good for running, for lifting, it's a little bit tricky. And just to, just to tell you guys, I'm not a fan of this exercise these rotational swings. Yes, a lot of guys do it. Yes, some respectable kettlebell guys even do it. I don't think it's a useful exercise. And somebody even commented on our channel and said a great way of using rotational forces would be working with club belts. And I 100% do agree. Now what? <laughs> Oh man, she got this exercise straight from functional patterns, guys. One aspect of great kettlebell programming is that you have a program where you can use one kettlebell only. She has to switch multiple times. She used two 24s for the stable, for the core exercise in the beginning. Then she had to use the eight kilo. Now she's using a baby weight because otherwise she won't be able to stabilize her body. And somebody in the comment section said, wow, that's a very advanced exercise. Guys, it's not advanced. It's just, it's in my opinion, like I'm always saying, it's not worth your time. Just do lunges or do a snatch or do step ups. Step ups are a great exercise for your legs as well. But, you know, doing stuff like this, why combining it? Like I said, variety is for fun. How do we spell fun? Remember that. She's so unstable. How do you call it? The wood chop. I'll never get fond of these exercises. Why do it? People think if I do outlandish looking exercises, I know the marketing gig behind it. Nobody does them. I'm the one who invented it. I'm the one who does it. So that's why I'm a special expert because I have a special secret because you don't see the pros do it because they haven't discovered the secret yet. Whatever, man. Jillian Michaels, she's rocking it. And I wouldn't buy a course from her when it comes to kettlebell training. Not good use of your time. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it. And consider subscribing if you want to see more kettlebell content. If you're looking for a kettlebell program that builds you up from a beginner to an advanced trainee in about three months. And you want to combine it with some easy to follow nutrition coaching. Then check out 90 Days of Kettlebells. You'll find a link in the description. And you have a 14-day free trial included.